Um, qualifiers and givens. I know that I've shared a, a lot of videos where I've mentioned uh, qualifiers and givens. And when you're uh, super hypersensitive about feelings, because it's all about what we feel as a living organism, a living, breathing organism, right? And the eternal gift of just knowing that just for one present moment, uh, you're in good health, which means you're not experiencing any disturbances. Uh, you're able to experience the eternal harmony within your own heart and soul. And the gift, the eternal gift of what it's like to experience that that causes me to cry so hard for our because of how many, so many others that are not experiencing just that gift. So when you're that sensitive, you don't want to say anything um, that's going to trigger something that's held in their memory that is yet to be cleared. It would be better to do it on the invisible landscape where they're just experiencing being loved by virtue of their antenna picking it up. That's how my heart works. So I knew that as a child, and it's one of the reasons why I looked up when I was about seven years old, and I said, I don't want to do this. Because it means you've got to be willing to experience everything that they experience in order to be able to heal everything. Okay? That's an eternal son. That's the eternal son of God. Okay? Because it makes it, what happens is, because I knew this as a child, you're map reading everything. You're map reading all the operating systems that have a relationship with each other. And um, are they able to be and experience God's eternal son? Ultimately. Right. And so uh, it, what it means when you're map reading any terrain, you're map reading codes, which are frequencies and vibration. And how that relates to how we communicate with each other on the visible light spectrum. And why I've always said it's it's not what, what I see in my mirror in color and form per se. It's the magnet. Okay, which is really the mirror. So I realize, and I've mentioned this before, that when you're a stargate and you're a mirror, right? Because you're experiencing in your mirror what you're experiencing, you're giving energy to experience in your mirror, which is the echo chamber. <laughs> Right, because I'm hearing the hissing right now. It's 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 uh, obviously if you peer review at the sun. No, I, seriously, um, it's uh, it's you know I'm very very blessed to know this as a child, obviously, um, and knowing the difference between um, artificial intelligence and something that's not artificial and it's a map read but it's a magnet read it's a mirror read reading the magnet right so uh, when you're running an eternal magnet you're experiencing an eternal sun which is eternal light uh, it's a gift because it means that um, everything gets exposed so you know what exposure is with a camera now we're into the shutter speed. Now we're into the ISO speed, which is the frame rate speed of the hologram that you're in. And so you realize that the lower the density, the slower the speed of the frame rate speed. <laughs> Much in the same way that a cathode ray tube works, right? With a, remember the old monitors, CRT monitors they came out with when they were first coming out with DOS and all the rest of it? Cathode ray tubes, rays, rays of light, and artificial light, artificial rays, artificial light, I'm trying to fake it, right? And so that's when we, when I was a child growing up, it was, uh, it was healthy to use comedy much in the same way that George Carlin did, which means it's like putting the mirror up we're mirrors. I'm a mirror. Okay. You can see me in the mirror. I put my mirror up, right? So George Carlin would put the mirror up, up on stage. And if it had a very articulate way in communication to sort of disarm people in the audience, because it's like saying, this is us. I'm communicating to you using my mirror. 
I'm putting the mirror up because you're seeing me and I'm seeing you in the mirror. So I'm laughing at myself, which means I'm laughing at you, right? Because laughter is medicine. So we're all laughing at each other. So he was able to expose all the crimes and the insanity while maintaining laughter as medicine. Right? That's the art of communication. Right? Now, obviously, where I am not in alignment with his consciousness is when he mentioned one time on camera that it was best to have a don't give a shit attitude. <laughs> okay? Um, and I certainly know how that is experienced when you are experiencing massive trauma on a planetary scale. Because a hypersensitive intelligent is map reading all of it at the oversoul level. Which means I'm experiencing what mom is experiencing. Okay. And so <clears throat> it means essentially that our job as polarity integrators is, as Asha Dayan said, being a transmutation machine wherever we go. Which basically means another way that I do it, call it, and if you want to think of it as, as a computer, garbage in, garbage out. Garbage in, garbage out. So when you think of it on a planetary level as a wastewater treatment plant using a nuclear reactor, when you're a polarity integrator because you're joined as one, which means there's no separating between what you are and what I am. The torque speed differential is going to be the resistance that others have in them as a cellular organism, right? On their breathing, not just their breathing, but the frequencies, you know, the alternating currents between two magnets, the negative and the positive magnetic polarity. Do they experience being together, joined as one, having a one connection, where they're experiencing the one, the eternal sun, the first eternal sun, which is God's law, which is what light is, which is what love is, goes on forever, gifting the accelerated rate of electrons. That's electron donations, donation, donors. And so... Um, I've been watching a few videos recently over the last week, um, uh, particularly about body cameras with police officers. So I had posted sort of a long comment because apparently this particular site is sort of supported or put up there on behalf of law enforcement itself. So you know that those folks that represent who they are, an energy, if you will, when I talked about inverters, I put it in there for them. Actually, anybody who sees it is now going to experience what I'm experiencing that I'm communicating to them. So now their mirror is going to read that hypertext. And so one of the things that I mentioned that I felt was important to impart by virtue of what I've experienced, particularly when it relates to trauma, because I'll just give you the scenario, the short version of it, because this one took about an hour on the, on the site, had to do with... Uh, uh, a guy who was um, who was stopped for a routine traffic stop, and what he didn't realize, and he works for he works as a, a rent a cop, security cop, and um, and he was ultimately arrested. But you could see and experience because I was experiencing because I've experienced it myself. I was experiencing what he was experiencing. When he realized, because the cop that was arresting him had told him that he had warrants out for his arrest. Now, apparently, one of these war warrants was put on him uh, as a result of a probation officer that put a hold on him. So, apparently, he was on probation as a result of something that he's done as a rule violation. So, now we get into rule violations, and now we get into what's held in cellular memory about following the rules. Now we're back into obedience training, trauma-based mind control, right? Uh, by obeying inverters. And how the inverters accelerate more inverters. 
by accelerating the amount of trauma that continues from one generation to the next and what it means to be free. Now we're back into free will, being a free spirit, and experiencing what love is as God's eternal spirit of fire to be free so that you're not held captive by an inverter that's feeding as an electron thief on electron donors. And the torque speed differential thereof between two planetary magnets to maintain the balance of the poles, the balance between the polarities, the balance between the bloodlines. Or if you will, just forget about blood and just think about water, you know, sound and water, right? Fire and ice, consciousness, consciousness itself, which is experiencing balance, right? My consciousness is balanced. My atmospherics are in balance. Pressure sensitive information waves, pressure sensitive frequency information waves, signals. So in this particular case, when he realized he was going to be arrested, what you will observe in this particular video is the response. Okay? And the response that this gentleman was experiencing and communicating to the officers went from being in a calmer state, then he went into an agitated state of his central neuro ion messengers. So now his central nervous system is in a highly agitated state. And the officers were doing everything to say, hey, listen, buddy, uh, this is on behalf that we're not your enemy here. We're following orders. We have been trained in our cellular memories to carry out these functions. Our function as a law enforcement officer is to obey the inversion, obey the black hole. So I am simply getting paid to be an inverter on behalf of bigger inverters. So it's not our fault that we're doing our job because that's our job. We get paid by gangsters. Okay, so we work for gangsters. Then somebody out of the bleacher stands going to say, yeah, but we need those guys. They're protecting us from other inverters. That's the illusion. Right, Mama? And so what I was experiencing was he, when he went into an agitated state when the cuffs got put on. Now he's no longer free, is he? Now the central nervous system is in an agitated state. Now that his freedom has been taken away and he's going to go down to the jailhouse and apparently meet up with a probation officer who's going to make a decision based on that conversation, how soon, if you will, his hands will be uncuffed and he can experience being free again. So what was noticeable about this exchange the rate of exchange and electrons, protons, and neutrons between electron donors and electron thieves, right? Is I mentioned up there that it is usually good advice when you realize that they have a job to do. And if those orders are telling them that in order for them to carry out their job and not be derelict of their job, which means they have an honor code to obey, the black hole. The black hole requires of them to act as an inverter. Otherwise, what happens? They lose electrons. Now they're not getting paid to act on behalf of inverters. So what we have here is this gentleman who was being arrested and he pulled a card. Joker's wild is what I call it. And what he said now was exactly what Mr. Smith was saying to Neil. You're a one, Neil, and you came first. You created the first board game. You were the most badass gamer. Nobody was 
faster at putting together game boards. Nobody could put a matrix back together faster than you could. You were the fastest hologram builder. Nobody was faster than you running at stealth code to build a matrix, to build the first universal and galactic template. It was you, Neil. You were the first God, the eternal God, Neo, the one. It's your fault, Neil. You built the first polarity game. Remember when Mr. Smith said that? With the goo, goo codes, goo codes, information codes, mathematical programming codes, Mathematical programming codes as application of consciousness to experience the information. The information network, the APIN network, running an operating system within a motherboard. So he pulled out the race card, what we call the race card. Now it's funny how it's R-A-C-E, raw. C, which is three, right? What is E? Electricity? That's called black flowering. Now we're into running victim, a victimizer software. Now it's the cop's fault for the fact that that guy is now experiencing being highly agitated. Now the officer's warning him, you realize, you know, this is called passive passive aggressive behavior you're passively aggressively trying to resist the arrest cuz here come here comes that victim victimizer card it's your fault neil it's your fault neil you didn't protect me you gave me free will do as thou wilt i went and do as thou wilt now what you're experiencing in me is a result of you not protecting me with your love so that I never experience anything less than what you are, which is what love is that goes on forever, Neil. You didn't protect me, Neil, because now look what I became in your own mirror. Now you're experiencing me, Neil. You see how that works between one mirror and another? Between a light mirror and a dark mirror? One mirror that is living eternal light and another mirror that is a dead light magnet running artificial light machinery, which is the technology, which is this phone that I'm communicating through. That's your black hole technology. So I posted the comment up there, you know, and, uh, but again, we're back to the same thing just because I commented on that information and that may, might be the way that I translate what I map by virtue of being hypersensitive to expose how a black hole operates with consciousness in its mirror, how it communicates to us, back to us, what we experience in our mirror. And so I simply communicate that up into that mirror so that others can experience in their mirror the hypertext it now experiences from another mirror. Neo, the one, law of spheres, love is the law. The Holy Spirit of fire is what love is. That's who we are. It goes on forever, gifting electrons to all of you.